Hi guys, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to the 11th video of this tutorial series. Today we're going to learn about collection views and um, just create a new project and let's get started. So in our main.storyboard, the first thing we're going to need to do is to add a collection view. So just open up your library, click drag a collection view to your view controller, and then we're going to add constraints. So 0, 0, 0, 0. Great. Now, if you look over here, you can see Let's adjust this. So you can see that we have a cell. So if you remember from our last video, working with table views, we can actually add a reusable cell, right? So this concept also applies to collection views. So here we have a cell or a prototype cell where we can implement a design and then use it in the view controller, okay? So mm -hmm. uh, this is what we're gonna do first of all. We're gonna design this um, cell. So to explain this, I'm just going to try to um, implement a sort of like a movie app. So we're going to display an image of a movie and then the, um, the movie title. Okay, so we're going to add an image view like that right here. And then we're also going to add a label, which is going to be for the title. Okay, so again, Let's add a label right so let's add constraint to the label we're gonna go um, 8 all around and then we're also gonna add constraint to the image view as well this is gonna be zero 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 awesome now I want this label to accept multiple lines so I'm just gonna give this a height First of all, let's just add some text just to be sure. Two lines like this. Great. So I'm just going to let's make this bold. Semi bold. Cool. And we're going to give it a height constraint. Wonderful. And then finally, center align that. So this is going to be our title. And this is going to be our image view or the image of the movie. OK, good. So now we have our reusable collection view cell. The next thing we're going to need to do is to add our um, collection view cell class. Now remember from our last video, we'll just create a new file, Coco Touch class. And you can just click over here and make sure you select the collection view cell. Okay. And I'm just going to call this movie. So movie collection view cell. And um, you could also create a nib. Rather than designing in our collection view, you could design with a nib. And if you want me to explain this, then just leave a comment and I'll, you know, know if I should make the video. But anyways, for now, we're not going to need a nib. So just click next and finally create. Great. So now we have our collection view cell. The next thing we need to do is to connect this class to our um, design right in the storyboard. So I'm going to um, copy the name of this cell and let's head back to our main.storyboard and make sure you select the cell itself. You can confirm by making sure that this guy here is selected. Okay. Now, when you do that, head over to the identity um, inspector, right? And then we're going to paste the name of the class, click enter to connect and head over to the attribute inspector. And under the identifier, we use identifier, we're just going to paste the same text. Okay. And um, that's it. So we have this cell connected to the class movie collection view cell. Next thing we're going to need to do is to connect these um, controls, right? So the image view and the label we want to connect those to the class. So I'm going to bring up our assistant editor and Let's hide this. Cool. So currently this is the view controller. So I'm just going to open up the movie collection view cell. Awesome. And we're going to click on the image view. Hold down control click drag right here. And we're going to call this um, movie image view like that. I'm going to do the same thing for the title. And I'm going to call this movie. I'll just call it title label like that. Awesome. So we have both of these connected and uh, we're pretty much done with this design for now. Great. So we can 
finally head over to our view controller and this is where we're gonna implement the collection view so I just increased the font I'm sure it looks much better now so anyways uh, we need to connect our collection view to this view controller class okay so let's head over to the main storyboard and right here let's make some room I'm just gonna hold down control click and drag it right here and I'm gonna call this collection view awesome now let's head back so um like the table view the next thing we need to do is to set our collection view collection view dot data source to be equal to self okay now this actually allows us to be able to specify or configure our collection view to specify the number of um, rows and a number of items rather and um, the cell right so um, when we set data source to be self we actually need to conform to the UI collection view data source protocol okay so I'm just gonna create an extension of the view controller class and um, this is gonna conform to the UI collection view um, data source awesome and right here we need to implement the number of items for section right or in section and then the second one we need to implement is the um, cell for item I believe yes so cell for item at index path okay now um actually if you go over if you look over here I have a file called movie.swift and what I did here was I created a struct right of type movie okay and this has the title and image so the title is of type string and the UI image is of type UI image so I just created an array right of movies that contains the title and the image okay so just to save us some time so if you head over to the assets you can see that I actually have some um, images I just took them off a website today TV series so anyways you can get this from the um, project I'm gonna leave a link in the description okay so anyways we have this array of movies so what I'm gonna do is create the collection view to display all of those images sorry all of those movies so um, here in the number of items in section we're gonna return and since I created this globally I'm gonna have access to this so this is not created in any class whatsoever so it's global so um, in this uh, view controller I can actually just say movies dot count awesome so this is gonna create um, n number of cells right depending on the number of movies that are available in this array awesome now the next we need to do is to create our cell okay so this is expecting us to return a UI collection view cell and remember right here that we created a movie collection view cell so I'm just gonna say let cell be equal to our collection view dot dq reusable cell with identifier okay and the identifier is going to be well it's just we're gonna cast this as a movie collection view cell I remember that's the same name as the identifier so I'm just gonna put that here and for the index path I'm gonna specify index path which is coming in from right here awesome let's make some room good now finally we need to return our cell great so now we have specified the number of items to be displayed we've also configured the cell that should be displayed now the next thing we need to do is to actually populate our cell with the information from the movie array right so let's head over to the movie collection view cell and we're gonna create a method right here called setup and this setup is gonna take in an argument that we're gonna call movie and uh, it's gonna be of type movie like that and what we're gonna do with this um, value movie is we're gonna say um, movie image view dot image to be equal to our movie dot image right and finally our title label dot text is going to be equal to our movie dot title awesome so this is 
our setup function and in our view controller what we can do is simply say our cell dot setup and it's going to require an argument of the type movie right and um, we can simply say movies and we're going to be getting the index from index path dot row awesome so this is going to set up each cell using the value at um, the current value of the movies array I hope that makes sense so um, we can actually go ahead and run this and let's see what we have now okay so as you can see right here we actually have the images and the title being displayed right here and if you count it you can you see that we have 10 cells okay but um, it's not actually looking good enough I wanted to display like two cells per row right so that's the next thing we're gonna work on now um, we're gonna need to specify the width and height for each of the cells let's get to it so uh, first things first we're gonna need to conform to let's create an extension first of the view controller and we're gonna need to conform to a, the UI collection view delegate flow layout okay and right here we actually have access to a method size for item at index path right here and you can see that it expects us to return a value of type CG size so what we're gonna do is say return CG size and um, we're gonna take in the width and height so for width I'm just gonna specify so actually what we need to do here is you know when you run this application on different devices you might want to display different number of um, columns right for a particular row so for for um, an iPhone 11 you might want to display two cells per row for an iPad you might want to display four five cells okay so this is where you do your logic but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna make this very simple we're gonna display just two rows uh, sorry two um, cells per row I'm just gonna set the width to say like uh, probably like 200 I guess and then let's set the height to be maybe 300 I guess this should be good it should be good so um, if we actually run this nothing is gonna happen and that's because we need to do two more things so it's still gonna be big right like it was so what we're gonna do is head over to our view to load and we need to set the collection view delegate so collection view dot delegate and this is gonna be equal to self and uh, finally another thing we need to do is to set the collection view um, collection view layout and we're gonna set this to be equal to UI collection view flow layout just like that awesome and now if we run it again um, we should see that the collection view cells have a width of 200 and a height of um, 300 awesome so this looks much better so you can see all of our um, movies like that and um, actually remember from our last video we could actually add tap gesture to our collection view cell so I'm gonna create a like this and we're gonna conform to the UI collection view delegate this time so delegates nope good I haven't already right yes so we're gonna implement a method called did select item at index path and what we want to do here is we're gonna simply print out the movie title okay and uh, we can get that from our movies array and we're gonna be getting the index path dot row great now let's run it again and see our movies being tapped oh anyways we need to actually get the title if not we probably will not see what is being printed like that so let's run it again great so now if I tap right here you can see right here you can see that I selected uh, Penny Dreadful so if I click here high town selected scroll down the hundred so yeah it works again great so there's actually a couple more things you can do 
with um, a collection view, you could actually make your collection view to scroll um, horizontally. So you scroll like this and um, you know, you can just do a whole lot more stuff. And just like I was telling you right here, remember, you can just add a little more logic to make this more um, adaptable. So for now, I just specify the fixed height and if we rotate our device, you can see that the margin between each cell is actually so much. So, you know, just maybe if you want me to do that, you can leave it in the comment section. I would just make this look more or make it adapt more, adapt better rather. So anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. And uh, if you liked it, please give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. And please, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.